What's up guys? How you guys doing today? I am Stay Your Blade. Uh, coming at you with a new segment or a new series I'd like to call Blades Binge. Uh, this series is going to be talking about TV shows that most people haven't already watched. Um, if you have watched them, awesome. But this might not be for you. Uh, this is talking to the people that uh, haven't haven't watched TV shows. Want a, a outside opinion on the show that they might dive into. Um, so today we're talking about Rick and Morty. Uh, Rick and Morty is a show from Adult Swim. Uh, it was created by Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon uh, in 2013. It is a great show. I picked it up on Hulu with my one month subscription, uh, free subscription, and I watched the entire thing in two days, I think. It's two or three days. Um, it didn't take long at all. Uh, altogether, there's uh, 23 episodes, and I would have to say it was a great time. Um, I really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, the one thing that I have to say is that if you watch the show, you have to get the references. And if you don't get the references, it, if the references pass over your head, then I would suggest going back and watching the TV show with a guide next to you to know all the references. Because there's so many little ones that you don't really see um, or, you know, don't really catch unless you watch it two or three times. Um, it took me probably twice to watching the entire thing through to actually see all the references and I still missed uh, you know here and there one or two of them um, but Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon you guys did awesome awesome um, now season three has started um, and as of right now season three episode two is out um, both uh, of the episodes can be on um, Adult Swim. Hulu doesn't have them yet. Um, and uh, iTunes has them. iTunes has them as well. And uh, I, instead of being able to watch them on regular TV, I actually bought the subscription on iTunes so I can watch them whenever. Um, so I don't have to uh, you know, stay up super late to, to watch them because of work. Um, I would say... The best thing about the show is that it takes a little bit of uh, Back to the Future, a little bit of Doctor Who, a little bit of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and it like spins it together, throws in a couple bottles of Hennessy or a couple bottles of Jack, gets the guy, gets Rick super drunk, and then he hits the road. And of course, the original show. Um, the original concept of the show was um, based on uh, Doc Brown and Marty McFly. So, the one thing I do enjoy about Rick and Morty is that the show is not lacking anything right now. Uh, they have tons of humor, tons of inside jokes, tons of things that are all over the place. Um, I like that it's very episodic, but it's not episodic, if that makes any sense. Uh, they make it so that he's... Rick, Rick is trying to get to one thing, and one thing only, and that's the Mulan Sejuan song. And he makes it abundantly clear throughout the show. Uh, that's what he wants in life, is that Mulan Sejuan sauce. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, check out a Google search and just Google it. You'll understand when when you, when you Google it. I believe that's going to be the driving force through season three, um, and I think it's it's kind of it it makes the show very relatable in the fact that it's just something so simple uh, that that Rick wants. He has infinite possibilities, but all he wants is that Mulan Szechuan sauce, and I promise you, he's gonna get it. he's gonna get it. Um, but. Basically, the, sh the show has been very good about um, not leaving new people out of the show. So if you join in the second season, even if you didn't see the first season, you'd still understand the concept of the show. There's nothing that, that will leave you high and dry 
uh, because you missed episode two of the first season. You might not understand one or two references, but you can pick it up on a whim whenever you want. Um, so I would have to say, as a whole, uh, the show is the show is doing well. Um, if you guys have a chance to latch on to Hulu's 30 day trial, you guys could blow through the first two seasons in a weekend, knock them out. They're 30 minute episodes. There's like 24 minute episodes if you're on Hulu um, with no commercials. Check it out for real. It's definitely worth watching. Um, I would say out of five, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys a scale from now on. This is for all the rest of this this series for Blades Binge. Um, the scale is gonna be one blade head is gonna be uh, no time wasted, and five blade heads up to five blade heads. That's gonna be way too much time wasted on this show, and it was horrible. And don't watch it. So I would say I would give this. Hmm. I would give this a half a blade head, a half, because just the, the the pure having to watch commercials on Hulu that killed me. That killed me so bad, and I wish I would have paid for the the um, for the the no commercials version of Hulu. Uh, but as a whole, amazing show. Definitely go check it out. So, if you guys like these videos, like comment subscribe uh to the channel and uh be prepared for some amazing content um when it comes to blades binge um we're going to be hitting up uh different shows on netflix and on hulu coming up uh very soon so check out my twitter um for more information i definitely enjoyed this show and uh I hope you guys have a great day. Stay swifty. Wubba lubba dub dub. Peace out, blades up. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye.